Three years after its failed attempt in 2019, Boeing Starliner finally docked with the International Space Station. Of course, that is something we all can be proud of, because the United States has now two different human-rated spacecraft at the same time after the space shuttle retired way back in 2011. But that's not my point in this video. Let us look at some of the major differences between these two spacecraft. First, let us see how much launching an astronaut on these two spacecraft costs. According to a NASA report a few years ago, Boeing will charge its customer roughly $90 million per astronaut on its Starliner, while the same would cost just $55 million for a right on SpaceX Dragon capsule. So there is a difference of $35 million per astronaut. So, SpaceX ends up saving more than $100 million for a mission to the ISS for the same thing that Boeing offers. And NASA would still be paying more than $85 million to Russia to send its astronauts to the space station if SpaceX's Crew Dragon wasn't ready in time. And most importantly, let us see about the launch vehicles that these two spacecraft use. SpaceX launches Crew Dragon capsule on top of its in-house manufactured reusable Falcon 9 rockets, which makes launch costs way cheaper. But, Boeing launches Starliner using ULA's Atlas V rocket which is not reusable. Space flights need reusable rockets in order to bring down the cost of launches. What confounds me is why SpaceX receives less money for the same service provided by its counterpart. So far, SpaceX has successfully launched four commercial crew missions to the space station. And both SpaceX and Boeing work under NASA's commercial crew program. Although a few questions could be raised, it is a good thing that American space industry steps up to NASA's demand for more crewed and uncrewed missions to space. Now NASA doesn't have to buy expensive seats on Soyuz spacecraft anymore.